Hello, everybody. Mm, excuse me. I had a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> How's everybody doing today? I'm going to show you how to weed your vinyl after it's been cut. And I don't know if you can see this. It's really difficult to see on camera, probably. But I can see the um, where the letters are. And I'm going to show you how you attach it with application tape. That seems to be a big question. So, first, I use this exacto knife it is very very pointy and i got this a long time ago it's from doodlebug design but it's no longer available but any pointy exacto knife will work and there's also a picking tool that comes with your cricut explorer kit okay so i just started this by picking a small piece up this font has some really fine pieces so i'm gonna have to do this slowly and this one's not too difficult because it's a small piece. But if you have something large that you're weeding, you will probably want to, you know, like cut off pieces as you go. But this one I think is probably going to be fine. Okay. And you want to watch for small pieces like the dot on the eye to make sure that it stays down. And if it doesn't, you can pick it out with your tool and then place it or you might be able to pry it off sometimes it, it just gets hung up okay so now I've got some sharp edges I'm getting ready to go around so I'm gonna just take the tip of my tool lift that up and that will free that and then I'm gonna do the same up top here there we go And then you can see I'm taking my time. This isn't something you want to rush. Then I have a big area in here. I need to get it up. There we go. And I just grab it with my fingers and very slowly. Okay. And then the pieces that are left, this tool will, this sharp exacto knife takes them out really easy. And see, this has a swirl on it, so I just want to take my time. There we go. Oops, and I've got one little tiny piece here. There we go. Okay, so now I have my word. This is the application tape. And when you cut it, and also when you cut your word, you know, if you cut with scissors, um, use the grid on the back and follow the grid lines. It will make it easier to line up. Also, I have this mat that has grid lines on it. That also helps me a little bit to keep things lined up. And I did the same th with this. You know, I've got everything, all the, you know, I cut it right on the grid. So now this piece we're going to take the top layer off and you want the part that has the grid on it the other piece this piece the shiny piece is trash this piece is tacky but it's not super sticky and we're going to line it up over top of my letters okay see I lined it up with the bottom line so everything stays nice and straight and then I rub it with my fingers. You could rub it with credit card. There's also a scraper in the kit. You can use the scraper. And then you're gonna peel the application tape back and you want the vinyl to stick to it, just like this. See, I've got a piece right there that's stuck. If I just work it a little bit, it will come undone. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on this picture frame. Okay. Once again, I'm going to use the bottom edge to keep it lined up. Let's see. I think I want this. I think I want it over here. Okay. And you lay it down and then you rub 
I usually just rub with my fingers, but you know, you could use the scraper tool or a credit card. And then peel this back. If you end up with any bubbles, you can smooth them out or you can take your tool and lift it up and then smooth it. This frame isn't perfectly smooth because I painted on it. It's got a little tiny bit of texture, so it's not gonna smooth out perfectly. There we go. And then I usually go back over it with my finger, smooth down any bubbles or any spots that didn't stick. Um, I used the Oracal 651 for this. Um, I could have used the 631, but you want to use 651 if you're doing something that's going to be outside or something that's going to be washed, you know, like cups or glasses or plates. And even then, it's hand wash only, no dishwasher. But there we go, and there's my whole frame, and this whole project will be up on my blog soon. So I hope you like it, and I hope you're doing something crafty today. Have a good one.